Hello, today we're doing a video of the Mesa Speed 3 versus the ST versus the Golf GTI. We'll be talking about a whole bunch of numbers such as power, straight line speed, track times, also what they like to drive and the refinements. So let's go. I think a good place to start with is the power plant. The ST and the GTI both powered by a 2 liter inline 4 turbo while the Mazda Speed 3 has the bigger 2.3 liter. They can all come with a manual transmission but the GTI is the only one that gives you an option for an automatic. So the Mazda Speed 3 obviously has the biggest engine which means it does have the most power and torque. It's got 263 horsepower while the ST has 10 less than the Speed 3 and the GTI has 50 less than the ST at only 200 horsepower. And if we look at torque on the Speed 3, we still have the most at 280. Again, the ST is down by 10 and the GTI is down by 65 pound feet of torque. But now let's talk about where sort of the power comes in. See, with the Mazda Speed 3 and the ST, the max power comes in at 5,500 RPM. With the GTI, it comes in at 5,100 RPM, which sounds good, you get your power sooner, but also doesn't give you that rush to really take out, use the whole engine, which is really fun. And then we go on to the torque. The GTI is torque comes in the sooner, so it is a very low amount of torque, 1,700 RPM, followed by the ST, it's the second amount of torque, and it comes at 2,500 RPM, then the Speed 3, 3,000 RPM. Now this is because it has the most boost lag, which some may see as being bad who want that linear power delivery, but boost lag can actually be fun because it creates suspense, drama, and excitement when you're accelerating. And speaking of boost, let's talk about these turbos. The GTI does have the worst turbo. In fact, people with GTI sometimes upgrade to a Mazda Speed Turbo, the K04 Turbo. While the ST does have a turbo that's sort of in between the more on the Mazda Speed end, but not quite. And that Mazda Speed's got that K04 Turbo. The best turbo of the bunch, but they can blow turbo seals when they get more higher mileage. Though saying it has the best turbo out of this bunch isn't really saying much because none of the turbos are too great here. But with all this power, it's an exhaust battle, of course straight pipe so we can get the actual tone, not hidden by caps and mufflers and resonators and all that stupid stuff. <laughs> talk about the 0 to 100 times. Now the Mazda Speed 3 and the ST get it both done in 6.1 seconds and the GTI only falls behind by 0.1 of a second which is actually surprising since it has you know 50 horsepower less than the other two and you know a good 50 pound feet less. But that mostly all comes down to weight while the Speed 3 and the ST both weigh about 1450 kgs while the Mazda Speed is about 10 kgs more. The GTI weighs 1415 horsepower. Not much less, but it's less, isn't it? And now let's talk about the diffs that these things have. Now the Mazda Speed 3 is the only car here that has a standard LSD, which is really good for around the corners when you're trying to put that power down, sort of negating the understeer. And if you want to do a fat front wheel drive burnout, <laughs> So of course with the standard ST and GTI you can get LSD in the aftermarket, it's just something you'll have to account for. And talking about LSD and handling, let's go onto a racetrack. I found one track which they've all been around, it was actually kind of hard to find one. And it's called Hockenheim Short or something like that, I think it's German. So the Speed 3 went around the fastest, they did a 118 dead lap and the ST was just 0.1 of a second slower so there's honestly not much between the two while the GTI then did a 119.8 nearly two seconds slower but that's got to be forgiven it's got so much less power now you may see me talking about the GTI you know it's less power it's a bit slower you may think I'm bagging on it a bit but I'm not look up the prices of these now the GTIs are far far cheaper so going on for that you know, numbers are all good, but they, they're not what creates the fun driving experience. Let's start off with this Mazda Speed 3. Like I said before, it's got the most turbo like It's also got by far the most torque steer. It's by far the rawest car here. Most people who say that drive is, it just encourages you to put your foot down, go fast. It might not be the best around the corner, but it's the funnest. It puts a smile on your face. And that's what the Speed 3 is all about. It's being raunchy, it's about being in your face and just doing it how it wants and having a great time. Do we move 
move on to the ST. <laughs> ST is really well engineered, it doesn't really feel like it's front wheel drive, it more feels like the car's pivoting around you, it feels really good with all this trick, torque vectoring and all this cool technology. It is really incredible how they've stopped it feeling like a front wheel drive, and no torque steer and all of that. Like In terms of capability, the ST is the most capable, but here's the thing, it's just not is fun, it hasn't got that deep character that Speed 3 has that wants you to put your foot down, get in a bit of trouble, but it is definitely the most predictable and the most capable, so definitely do balance up what you want there. Then we come along to the GTI, it's kind of unfair to compare them, yeah it's a lot of horsepower down and it's a lot of torque down, but for what it is for, it's the pricing is they drive really good. They're fun cars to drive around, they're just not quite at that level, but like I said, they're now cheaper, and as we'll find out soon, they're a lot more refined, so much more refined. Oh, and we're just speaking about refinement, so let's speak about refinement, boys. The Speed 3, it is the fastest, it is the most powerful, and it is the least refined. It is the rawest, it is the funnest, it's got the cheapest materials, the ugliest dash, the less technology. Then we come along to the ST. Its interior is nice, it's got more soft touch, it's got more technology, it's a bit nicer of a daily. Then we come to the GTI, this is really, really works out. The suspension's a lot more supple, it's nice to drive in. The interior's got that nice German build quality about it. It's got the nicest materials, the nicest design, it's the easiest to daily drive by a long shot. And that's where we come up to now, what one should you get? If you want a daily with a sporty side to it, get the GTI. If you want that nice refinement to it, definitely do get the GTI. If you want a car that's really capable, you know, with a good interior, get the ST. However, if you want a car that's just outright fun, it's outrageous, that you don't really care about the interior, definitely do get that Speed 3. If you did enjoy, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and see you next time.